my lip thins um i wanted to do another video and i actually wasn't planning on doing another video today because yesterday i did a whole one hour that was this that was actually my first one hour video i ever uploaded on my channel um so that's for like the bollywood fans people that are fa fans of that industry to go watch that video um but yeah i wasn't planning on doing another video today until i went on twitter you know twitter twitter tends to give me the updates tends to give me the deeds and the dots and i want to talk about two different people well two different things so first i'm gonna start with, with the with this whole marvels you know thing um oh god when i saw this headline i was i was just like oh god oh god oh god so it says here the marvel's biggest difference from the other mcu movies to date is that it is really wacky and silly says director nia the costa and i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like have these people not learned from thor love and thunder have these people not learned from thor love and thunder did they not see the dragging that 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 movie had all over the all over the internet from Twitter to Instagram to everything, we were I was dragging the ever living shit out of Thor: Love and Thunder. I even I, I it was to the point where it's like I kept giving updates about how the the actors felt, how did Chris Hemsworth, how did Chris Hemsworth felt about you know what I'm saying? Just like the buffoonery that happened in that movie. So I just feel like this is such a huge mistake. I don't know who this director is. I'm not sure who she is. Maybe she is a famous director. Never really heard of her name like that. But I think she's she made a huge mistake trying to make this into like a wacky, silly kind of film. I I just I feel like at this point, the audience, especially the casual fans, and at this point, I consider myself a casual fan of the MCU. I'm no longer like the biggest. Like I'm just I'm I'm a casual fan. I feel like the casual fans are getting tired of just the, just the anything, like just feeding the audience shit. Just feeding the audience shit, just continuously to feed us because just because they have a built-in fan base and we're, we're not, we're not going to stand for it. We're not going to stand for that. And let me tell y'all something. When this movie comes out, I am going to be looking at the Rotten Tomatoes. I am going to be looking at the critics, what the critics have to say, what these people have to say. Because the first Captain Marvel movie was trash, okay. I don't care. I lo I know y'all love to pull, and you know me. I will call out misogyny whenever I can, like because there is misogyny within Hollywood and that sort of thing. But I felt like with, with Captain Marvel, that was no misogyny. That shit was ass, and I feel like and it's no shame. It's Brie Larson. She was very stiff in that movie. So for me, I just feel like. I think that the you know this director is making a mistake by trying to make this into a, like a happy go lucky silly wacky let's just play around let's just let's just a geeky ga 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 like we're not no we want to see masterpieces we want to see storylines we want to see cohesive storylines and on top of that we want to see great CGI I'm tired of the CGI looking like shit I'm tired of the writing being shit I'm tired of the storyline being shit if this movie is gonna be what I think it's going to be. If they're going to give us a Thor Love and Dunno or even worse, or something even worse than that, then they can keep this movie. They can keep it. I'm not, I'm not about to waste my time. I'm going to go buy tickets, waste my energy, my time to go watch a movie that's going to piss me off. Okay? So they need to get this shit together. And I feel like, and you know what's another reason too that I'm just like, I'm aggravated with this? This is a, a superhero movie where, you know, mostly female cast. You have Brie Larson. You have the Miss Marvel. And then you have Captain Rambo, whatever, Rambo. It's like, y'all y'all need to, come on. Like, this, this is really where y'all have to prove the, the audience and the public. Like, listen, we can have a standalone female-based film and it can be an A-plus movie. And I just think that if they, if they do what I think they're going to do, it's, it's, really, it's going to be bad. It's going to be, if they think that Captain Marvel, the, the way the fans dragged Captain Marvel was bad, y'all get ready for the Marvels. Because if they don't get their shit together, if this director, the writers, I mean, then again, there is a whole writer strike happening right now. You know, people, so I don't know, maybe that has affected the script. That's why the, the director came out with this sort of statement. But it's, it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. And 
all I can say is good luck to the actor, the actors and actresses within this film. Now, I want last thing I want to talk about. <laughs> I want to talk about Gal Gadot. Let me tell you something. They are dragging Gal Gadot all over Twitter, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Personally, for me, just on a personal level, I personally do not like Gal Gadot. I just what she stands for. She just she aggravates me. But on an acting level as well. It's just like, I feel like Gal Gadot's acting, as time goes on, I'm like, bro, like, why is she, like, how does she got the role, how does she get the role of Wonder Woman? It's just like, there's, there, there could have been so many other actors that have so better personalities, better, like, like, just everything, but yet they chose Gal Gadot to play Wonder Woman. The first Wonder Woman was trash. Y'all only got that up because it was the first female superhero movie. The second one, y'all, yeah, <laughs> we all know what happened with that. And now... Uh, apparently Gal Gadot came out, I, I don't know her team, I don't know if it's her or her team talking about, oh yes, you know, James Gunn, yeah, we, I spoke to James Gunn and, the, you know, Warner Brothers, all that, yeah, we, we couldn't have come up with a new Wonder Woman movie, it's in the works, yes, 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 but the next thing you know, we get the news, well, this is the first thing that I saw, it says here, despite recent comments from Gal Gadot claiming DC has, <laughs> has James Gunn and Peter Safran told her they will develop Wonder Woman 3 to get the sources with knowledge of the situation to a variety that that is not the case. According to sources, a third Wonder Woman film is not in development at DC Studios, nor do Gunn and Saffron have plans at this time for any Wonder Woman project in the new DC universe. Other than, other than their previously announced Paradise Lost prequel ser series for Max. I, I, like, I do not know where Gal Gadot came out with her and her team came out with this statement. Hey, yes, you know, we're going to be doing a third. It's just like, girl, it's just like, girl, like, you really tried it. You really tried it. And here's another thing that I'm, I'm kind of, like, looking at Gal Gadot a kind of way. First of all, first of all, they literally revamped the whole DCEU. They, they took out Henry Cavill, who was, like, the perfect Superman. You're removing him. They're getting rid of everybody. What makes you think that you're going to be the last one standing? You, Gal Gadot. When a good amount of the public, first of all, they don't even like you as Wonder Woman. That's, that's just what it is. Number two, we would prefer Henry Cavill, but the, even, even James Gunn got rid of Henry Cavill, and he's a fan favorite. What makes you think that you'll be, like, girl, are you that egotistical? Are you that egotistical that you will tell your you will tell your team to release a statement or to go by sources to have them freaking put out a statement talking about so oh yes James Gunn and, and, and us we had a conversation uh, Wonder Woman three is on the way. It's like you really tried that, you really tried that, and now they're really dragging her on Twitter. They they're coming for her acting skills as they should as they should. Um, they're really going. <laughs> This this one statement right here, this this person that tweeted this had me cackling. Shoot, this person was like, "We can all tell Gal Gadot doesn't do auditions." LMAO, her filmography isn't based on her acting chops. You know, Gal Gadot is getting her wig tugged on Twitter, and we have to stand. We have to stand. We have to stand. I hope James Gunn replaces Gal Gadot as well. I'm I'm sorry, like she can't like. She's so, like, just, vi not just on a, like, a acting, like, just visually speaking, too. Like, as a casting sort of thing. She, to me, she looks nothing like Diana. She looks nothing like her. So, I'm just like, girl, can we get a girl with, like, that has some meat on her? That hair has volume, okay? Hair has volume, is giving, is slaying. Like, stop giving me these teeny-weeny girls that just trying to play some superheroes. Give me some girls with meat. Anyway, that's just that. I just had to go on that route. I just had to go on that route. But please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Let's please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Again, let's get up to 600 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Thank I appreciate you guys for listening. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below about the Marvels situation. Tell me how you guys feel about Miss Zenist herself. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.